obviously, you, you last month announced a lot of investment plans into Indonesia. Uh, this is after, of course, getting into the U.S. market. Talking a little bit more about India as well. I'm just wondering, what is your view of the ASEAN EV market now? Um, we think that the uh, um, ASEAN market, Southeast Asia, has a lot of uh, potential uh, because uh, the EV adoption is still relatively low. However, all the governments are um, setting very aggressive targets uh, for, for the market. Uh, Vietnam being part of ASEAN, so we're very bullish on ASEAN and uh, we um, we intend to, um, to move into ASEAN um, aggressively, starting with uh, Indonesia. Um, you're talking about some uh, serious investments taking place here as well. You, you know, do you think you're going to need to raise more money given your debt profile? Um, as a company like us, of course, we, we will continue raising uh, a lot of capital. And that was the reason why we uh, listed uh, on NASDAQ. Uh, however, we um, we also have support from our chairman and um, Vin Group. Uh, so for for the next um, um, eighteen months or so, at least we we still have the support from them. Uh, you mentioned Indonesia, and I'm just wondering, are there other countries that you're targeting as well within the region as well, and what what where and what in particular? Uh, as we announced in um, uh, our Q3 uh, earnings result, uh, we are targeting to enter um, up to 50 different markets by the end of next year. So uh, Indonesia, India, uh, other markets that we already announced like US, Canada, uh, in in the um, Europe like Germany, uh, the Netherlands, uh, France, uh, and um, there, are few, uh, there are many other markets that we're looking at right now. Yeah, and you've got about 40,000, 50,000 uh, vehicle sales is uh, your target. Uh, how are you going to get there and how is your journey to that kind of target going now? Uh, we are in the process of uh, launching vehicles one by one. The ramp up always uh, takes time initially. Uh, however, we are the, um, I would say, the only company that have seven EV models that are, that have been announced uh, at least, and four of them are already on the market. Uh, we are on uh, target to get to 40 to 50,000 vehicles. Uh, to be delivered globally this year. I think as we uh, launch more vehicles into the market uh, and as the consumer getting more familiar and uh, with our vehicles uh, and as we deliver more, we should be able to, to meet the target. Uh, what does that mean for profitability? Do, do you think VinFast will, will break even by the end of next year? And, and could it actually be profitable uh, by 2025? Uh, we we have been the last few years has been uh, building the foundation for uh, for Vinfast. Um, so we uh, we have invested heavily on this um, whole lineup of uh, seven vehicles. Uh, we have uh, invested in the manufacturing facility in uh, in Vietnam and um, you know getting ready for other facility as well. Uh, we are in the location in a very low cost location in in Vietnam, uh, but it takes a little bit of time to to ramp up and to optimize um, I think we we're on a good track to um, to work, uh, break even and profitability uh, can't give the guidance as to when we can be profitable but uh, I think we, we track in it uh, quarter by quarter I was gonna get your take on India there's been some reports that you might be taking over a Ford factory in, in Chennai can you confirm that information that we're hearing from from India media at the moment um we uh we we're looking at several options i think we narrowed out to uh, about three different options that we are pursuing uh, aggressively for for india uh as the time comes you know we will be able to to make the announcement right now we're still looking at uh, different options and talking with different yeah. um panels yeah what what kind of support are you getting from the government to to set up a factory there <laughs> Uh, we negotiating, I mean, very, very similar to the process that we ran in the U.S. Uh, we're talking with various uh, different locations, different states, um, you know, and uh, um, not, nothing is finalized yet. So we uh, we would like to announce when um, when we're ready. 
Um, just going and having a look at this uh, the, uh, uh, tweet, what are you going to do? I mean, we saw that when you had your IPO, that the, you saw the stock price just fly up. I mean, 500% or thereabouts. It was uh, quite something to watch. Now, of course, it's come thundering down ever since then, but you've only got 1% float. Is uh, more equity being put on the market soon and helping you with your cash position in particular? Uh, the market was quite um, unexpected after the listing. Uh, however, I think the uh, the um, uh, the customer or the uh, investor kind of recognized. Uh, I mean, first time they actually uh, heard the story of Vinfast and recognized our potential and our commitment to the EV re revolution. Um, I think uh, we, we don't really watch the share price as much because we focus a lot on ex uh, execution and on what we have ahead of us. Um, however, um, I think that eventually as we deliver um, to our milestones, uh, then the share price will uh, s stabilizing uh, at the you know price discovery. Um, we. Um, and mm. you, you're right that we started out with a very low float. However, uh, as we announced about two weeks ago, we um, um, released more shares into the market. So the, about 50, uh, 75, 76 million uh, shares uh, that we released to the market. A, a portion of that will still be uh, locked, um, but um, the rest of it is um, uh, going to add to the free float on the market. And also we are working on a lot of transactions in the background so that we can um, increase the um, the investor base as well as putting more shares um, uh, in into the market. Yeah, I, I think also people are very quite interested in, you know, any sort of updates that you have in the, in the business in the U.S. right now. Do you have a sort of sales forecast uh, right now set for the U.S.? Um, well, we, we give the forecast for the whole uh, global. <clears throat> We, right now, we're in the process of uh, signing uh, with the um, with the um, dealers. So, depending on how many dealers we can sign between now and end of the year, how uh, you know that will decide how many vehicles they can uh, take between now and end of the year. Um, we um, we think that this year is mostly going to be about signing up the first group of uh, of dealers, so that we can start um, delivering cars and selling vehicles and utilizing the network that this uh, a very special dealership group already have with their um, customers.